Why are people who have physical jobs muscular? They may not be huge, but I guarantee you they're stronger than they look. They don't always use the biggest muscles. Like the pecs for what they do. Give me a plumber or carpenter. And I'll show you a dude that has the hand grip of a gorilla though. Not all physical work builds muscles the same way. Doing high resistance muscle training for an hour every day is better for building big muscles than doing low resistance work for 8 hours. Not to mention diet is as important as exercise in order to build muscle. You may see them working but you don't know what they're eating. Construction workers often tend to be fueled off of monster nicotine and gas station hot dogs and take recovery shakes from Anheuser-Busch. Having muscle and it being visible are different. Naturally the vast majority of people won't have much muscle definition on a normal healthy diet. Because there'll be a layer of fat around it all. Hence why bodybuilders are on specific diets and dehydrate themselves for further definition. Strong muscles aren't necessarily bulging. You have to put work in. In an entirely different way to achieve muscle growth versus muscle strength. The general population underestimates how much it takes to achieve a bodybuilder physique. This post is a prime example. I could be wrong. But my guess. People who work out have to gradually increase their workouts to continue to improve their physique. Lifting 100 pounds gets too easy and they increase to 120. Then 140. Eventually 200. You get the idea. Someone who's, for example, lugging around packs of roofing tiles all day is getting a consistent weight. So at first they'd improve a bit. But only until it gets easy to lift. Then they're just plateaued. Depends who you're asking. Right next door to me there are construction men who work shirtless and they be looking so good to me. If only men were into potatoes like me sigh but I did give them some water one day. TV and movies misrepresent what muscles look like. The so-called muscular people on TV shows and movies are dehydrated anorexic bodybuilders. People in real life with strong muscles don't look like that. The physical stimulus necessary to induce muscular hypertrophy often differs from the stimuli experienced by manual labor jobs. Take squatting for example. The load the body is subjected to by a properly performed barbell squat is significantly greater, more consistent, and more mechanically sound than the load one is subjected to in construction jobs, which involve lighter, more cumbersome loads moved hundreds of times per day. Lighter loads do not damage muscle to the degree necessary to induce the desired muscular adaptation to that load, i.e. voluminous growth. To put it simply, lifting light for lots of reps won't make you yoked. Lifting, relatively, heavier weights, with a lifestyle low in alcohol, manual laborers tend to drink, is more conducive to muscle growth. Look up Olympic weightlifters. They don't look like bodybuilders either. A lot of them have visible guts. And their arms are hardly bulging with visible muscles in many cases but they are some of the world's strongest people. Bodybuilders, including some of the people training the gyms, are training to look good, not to be strong. People who do physical labor are getting stronger in whatever they are doing, but they aren't doing the right exercises, diet, and techniques required to have that muscular look. That's an entirely different thing. Yes. This means bodybuilders are not as strong physically as you would think they are. Their muscles are built to look impressive. Not to actually do anything. Modelo. Work smarter not harder. Nutrition tends to be a big factor. Getting a muscular and sculpted body is just as much diet as it is exercise. 
Not to mention that gym exercise has been engineered to target specific muscles and muscles group. While physical labor is just a general activation of the body, they might not look like much. But challenge one to an arm wrestle and see for yourself. A world's strongest man was asked why he didn't have abs. He replied abs don't mean you're strong. They mean you're not eating enough. Perhaps something similar? Diet can have a big part in that. If they're not getting enough protein in daily it won't matter how much physical work you put in. They aren't stimulating muscles directly. Keyword, directly enough to result in growth, probably on their feet all day burning calories. Diets could be affecting muscular development as well. Probably have a lot of endurance for what they do but unless you're lifting heavy repeatedly till failure you won't see many results. They do all tend to have strong forearms though because that's where a lot of the work is focused. Because manual labor jobs aren't the same as structured workouts. When working out, a person will ideally lift the maximum weight they can handle for the exercise in representative range. Exercises are performed consistently over long periods of time. Exercises are chosen to work different muscles and muscle groups all over the body to create symmetrical muscle growth. When doing manual labor you lift what needs to be lifted as many times as the job requires. Most of the time the weight will be far less than what the worker could potentially lift and which exercises are necessary will change day to day. Many muscles will be left out because of the limited number of movements needed for the work. Muscles are not an indicator of strength directly. There is some correlation. Since often potential strength of fiber to fiber size can be directly proportional. But that's just potential and doesn't account for relative strength. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.